Chris Balasek and Charlie Miller are two security experts who helped Forbes show just how easy it is to hack a car. It was miles per hour, it's like, oh, it man, totally off. Oh, sh <laughs> Take control. <laughs> can you make it go left now? <laughs> so if you can, like, completely stop. <laughs> I flooded the CAN network with traffic with a speed it didn't know about, and that's why this pedometer read zero. And then I told the car it was in reverse and it was trying to park itself. Oh. Okay. And therefore it was doing the very heavy jerky motions. If you would have stopped the car completely, you would have seen the wheel do two complete rotations in a clockwise direction. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, it's, it's kind of disturbing when you see how easy it is to manipulate not just little things like, oh, you have more gas than you had before, but your car isn't moving, but we're saying it's going 199 miles per hour. There are so many computers on board a car like the Prius, which I drive, by the way, and this is very upsetting, but it's, it's not to say that the Prius is the only car. Oh, cars are just filled with computers now, and of course someone with access to the dashboard, or you know, you don't even need to be plugged in like they were. It just, it's just a show, an immediate show, to, to see how scary this is. I, I know they were laughing, like, ha, 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 you made the car turn when I didn't want to turn, but it is scary, and the implications are terrifying. And as more and more of these computerized, automated, self-parallel parking type features get implemented in the cars of the future, these hackers will have more and more and more control over these cars, even wirelessly so eventually. Well, yeah. It's, if not it, now. It's, it, I think it is possible now. They were just doing this to, to show us. I mean, they did take off the dashboard, but it, 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 it is possible to get into to the car systems without doing all that. Even the little things like tightening up the seat belts I thought was Isn't scary as shit. Yes, you could. It's one thing to like take control of a car, but then to like connect you to that car so you can't get out. Like, holy cow, that's scary. Yeah, so that's something DARPA is able to do uh, now. Okay, um, should I ask why DARPA wants to be able to do that? That seems awful. Well, they both work for DARPA. So theoretically, DARPA, DARPA for, can do that. For oh, those of you who don't know at home, is the Department of Defense's research wing. So our government's defense research wing is looking into how to hack cars. Yes, and there's a variety of technologies that are under research and development under, under DARPA. And this is one of them. So you can do things like forge status updates, uh, change fuel levels and vehicle speed, which I mentioned, trick the pre-collision system and over-tighten the seat belts, as you mentioned, even more dangerous. These tech gurus could alter the steering of the vehicle, making the reporter behind the wheel very nervous. And it's going to be impossible for us to do this story without mentioning another reporter who is behind the wheel. And uh, people suspect that there may have been foul play involved with his car. Of course, we're talking about Michael Hastings. Now, it still it hasn't come up under investigation that his car was hacked. But when you see this video, and you hear about what happened in the story, it's, it's not hard to think this could have happened. It was possible. Car accidents is one of the leading killers in this country. Mm -hmm. Meaning that if people can take control of your cars and cause these accidents, mm -hmm. this is the new assassination. There's not gonna be snipers on sure. rooftops anymore. This is how you it's going to be done. You can just cut the brakes. And, and what evidence is there later that something has been done? What, what trail is there? If, you, if you're smart, none. And it's, it's frightening. I, I, I don't it's mean horrifying. to scare people as to say like, oh, well, this is how all car accidents are caused or high profile car accidents are caused. But it's definitely plausible. Because I mean, before all of this, a car accident was just a car accident. Oh no, they died in a car accident. You can't cause a car accident. I mean, yes, you can cut the brakes, but then you'll see tampering. This is... There this would, is a whole There would be level. no evidence later. It would, it would appear to be driver's fault or a pure accident. And it makes those lines a lot less clear. Like, it, it, it is reasonable to have some amount of suspicion. We do have a couple of, well, just one that I can think of safeguards in place. This week, a lot of news places were talking about how they're implementing black boxes in cars mm -hmm. to provide a little bit of, I don't know, data to sh for to see like what happened after a car crash. So that might be helpful in the case that foul play is suspected. So I don't know if, if it would help or not, but 
it's something. I think a smart hacker could find a way around it or find a way to, to cover his tracks. Yeah, if you can hack the car, you can hack the black box. It's just a computer, you know? Of course it's, it's vulnerable and it's, it's so upsetting. <laughs>